Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I am going to show you how you can create zip files in Power Automate without the use of any third-party connectors or any premium actions. Power Automate already includes the ability to extract from archives but does not give you the function to create any. What I noticed when I was looking around SharePoint is that it gives you the ability to select files and press download and it will produce for you a zip file which you can see your files in no problem at all. And I wondered if it was possible to emulate the functionality that the browser uses in a Power Automate flow to create zip files. And it turns out you can and it is quite easy to do. Um, instead of showing you every step of this scope which creates the zip file, what I would suggest you do is go over to my blog, which I will link in the description, and click on Flow Code and Implementation, and you will see here this scope code. If you copy that to your clipboard, and then do a new action, go to my clipboard, press Control V, you will see it come up in your clipboard, and then you just paste it in, and that will give you everything you need to get started. So let's go through the flow and I'll show you what you need to modify it once you have pasted in the scope. So the first thing is the path to your document library. If we have a look at my document library here, this part is the path. Now this path is URL encoded, so if you go somewhere like urldecoder.org, paste it in, press decode, and there is the result. I don't think it will actually matter if you put in the encoded version. And then the zip folder path um, is the path relative to your document library that you want to zip. So in this case it's test zip and here are the images. So let me move on to a SharePoint HTTP action and you will have to reconnect because it will have references to my SharePoint um, site and you'll have to connect it up to yours. This does not need to be edited and you don't need to modify anything until you get down to store zip and create file. Store zip stores it in OneDrive and create file stores it in a SharePoint document library. You can delete one of these depending on what your use case is um, and depending on where you want to store it. So let's um, now run the flow. As you can see, mine is going to go into this zip output folder and I've also got the zip output folder open on my OneDrive. Okay, so if I test this now, Okay, so it has run and it took two seconds. Let's have a look at the outputs. Here's an output on my PC. That seems to work. And now let's go and check SharePoint. And there's the file there. So, that's all quite easy to do. Um, now, let's go back and have a look at the run history because there are a couple of things I want to show you. So this flow, this scope as it is at the moment is designed to zip an entire folder and any folders within it. If we look at the output of this select action, which is responsible for taking the output, the extensive output of this SharePoint HTTP action, which as you can see is very big, and reshaping it so that it's in the right format for the zip action. It's got the document ID and the um, access token and whether or not it is a folder. So if you want to be more specific about how this, what, what it's going to zip up, you can either modify the SharePoint HTTP action to have some additional parameters, URL parameters, and the link for the Microsoft documentation for that is on my blog. It is probably easier to add a new action after the select action 
to add a filter array and just filter the output of the select. And you can do something like, I forget what the uh, output looked like now, so let's go and have a look. Okay, so is folder, for example, you could modify this to say item is folder is equal to false if you didn't want it to recurse, for example. And then you would use that filter array as the input for this instead of the body select. Um, and that is all there is to it, really. It's quite a powerful functionality because it opens us up to the ability to dynamically create Word documents, which is a problem I've been trying to crack for a while. And I'm going to cover that in the next video. Um, and again, you'll be able to do that completely for free. So let me know how you get on in the comments. And uh, I hope you enjoy the ability to create your own zip files in Power Automate. Cheers. See you in the next video. Bye bye.